We've built in a lot of features into Mass Effect 3 to create that good entry point for new players. The story itself adapts to new players by adding additional context and dialogue. Um, we've also included a new squad member in James Vega, and just in his ambient dialogue, he adds a lot of questions that you as a new player might be asking. Um, we've also added game experience in the um, action RPG, which is a traditional Mass Effect game, and then story experience. So for a new player that you know maybe isn't as strong in shooting um, they can focus on the story and have a little bit um, more easy combat. So we've added a lot of different mechanics that do make it a really good entry point for new players. So we have, you know, focused a lot on the combat changes, adding the heavy melee attacks and just, you know, like moving in and out of cover, basically gameplay mechanics, jumping across gaps, that sort of thing. It's all new to Mass Effect 3. And um, we also have focused a lot on our core RPG values and customization options, both in the type of story experience you want to play as. So we have story experience, we have a traditionally RPG, and then the action experience. So that's when we've kind of evolved the story itself. And then we've also focused a lot on going back to those customizations in the armor, in the weapon modification system that we've added, and adding you know scopes to your weapons. And then even in the powers, we've taken them further and added new offensive powers for almost every class. So the co-op multiplayer is part of the Galaxy at War system and really it's also the iPad app and then Infiltrator that Iron Monkey has worked us, with us on. That's the a third person shooter also for iPad and iPhone. And they all play into this Galaxy at War system. And so you play on all of these multiple fronts and it's basically to capture the scope of the story that is Mass Effect 3. It's all out galactic war. So now you also have the option to go into these different fronts, multiplayer and the apps. And if you're successful, you gain war assets. And they're basically percentage points, and they play into your galactic readiness rating. You also gain war assets throughout your single player campaign, but now we've also just given players the opportunity to fight on multiple fronts, to fight with their friends in co op, and to take those um, galactic readiness points back into their single player campaign to decide if they're ready to face the Reapers in that final battle to take Earth back. Right from Mass Effect 1, um, Casey Hudson, our executive producer, has, has said that it is a trilogy, and those kind of key plot points have been planned out right from the start and we are wrapping up this storyline with Mass Effect 3 but the franchise itself is really really extensive it's really really rich science fiction story we have comic books with Dark Horse um, yes there has been a lot of discussion around films I think there was a Gamescom panel um, with legendary pictures who bought the rights it is a really really vast franchise a really really vast universe and there are many many stories to explore